Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Ramblandino's Coffee and a Song. Good to have you here on this Tuesday morning. So, uh, a handful of uh, good things happened to me. Uh, besides this gloriously sunny day that is uh, lighting up the room here quite nicely, although uh, I don't seem to have my facial skin color dialed in, but <laughs> uh, I did finally figure out what was wrong with, uh, with my camera, my expensive camera that I bought. And uh, so uh, I finally got uh, my expensive camera to work and I'm actually using it now. So uh, going forward, we should have better video quality. Um, lighting is still something I need to tweak. I don't know. Uh, I can't quite figure out how to get this room lit up uh, nice, but at least uh, it's very pleasant for me today with the sunlight streaming in. Um, so my backdrop today, it really, uh, oh, John's saying I'm a little out of sync today. Great, John, just harsh my, my eye. <laughs> I was just talking about how happy I was that I got my camera work. And then you got to tell me about technical difficulties. I'm kidding, of course. Uh, it, the <laughs> That's okay. I want to know. It does. I, on my screen, it looks a little bit out of sync, too. Maybe, uh, maybe my slow processor on my computer is having to deal with my video background, and, uh, and maybe that's why. Um, you know, so uh, in any case, it's I guess it's going to be a little out of sync today. So why the video backdrop? It really just kind of a random thing. Um, I got to thinking about uh, how much I miss kind of driving around doing my solo shows and uh, remembered a... Um, Remembered a trip that I took a couple years ago to do a, a show in Denver and a show in Durango. And I drove back and forth from Denver to Durango. And uh, I don't actually know where this uh, scene in the backdrop actually is. But there was a whole lot, of, uh, whole lot of my drive where I was driving through kind of majestic mountains. And, you know, it's one of the things that's that's pretty cool about being a, a touring musician. If you're interested in uh, in doing so, you can see an awful lot of uh, incredible scenery and visit an awful lot of uh, great places that you wouldn't necessarily find yourself in if you were just planning vacations. So um, the backdrop's just a little nod to uh, missing that bit of my lifestyle that uh, is probably going to be gone for another year or so. Um, so, uh, that's that. Uh, so I'm kind of, I'm kind of pleased with this new song I came up with, uh, partially written last night, partially, uh, written this morning. I guess you can call it a relationship song, but one thing I try and do with relationship songs is, um, that probably impedes my song's popularity, general popularity, is that, um, is that, uh, you know, relationships are complicated and messy and it's hard for me to write a song where somebody's portrayed as the good guy and somebody's portrayed as the bad guy, uh, cause it's always a little bit of both. And this is definitely one of those things. Uh, this just, a bunch of this stuff just came tumbling out of me. It doesn't really relate to any specific life experiences I've had. There's some mentions in there of things that I have personally gone through, but, uh, um, I'm learning more and more as I write more and more songs that uh, I, I'm, I'm allowing myself to write things that uh, have little or nothing to do with me personally, um, which is uh, kind of uh, opens you to a whole new world uh, of uh, and new possibilities of things to uh, write about lyrically. Um, I guess the thing I'm most happy about with this song, because I'm kind of a I'm kind of addicted to hooks is that I think I, I, I stumbled upon a, a, a good sounding chorus here. And, uh, you know, by the time this song reaches recorded, uh, it's recorded version, the lyrics may not even resemble what they are here today, but, uh, but that 
hook and the chorus will will definitely remain there. The rest of it, it the verses, um, I was also kind of pleased to stumble upon this um, two-line formula that repeats it, itself where, um, where there is a rhyme, uh, but the rhyme, uh, the second line extends on beyond, uh, extends out beyond the rhyme. So I'm getting all goofy and uh, technical about about how the song's written. But uh, I should just play it. <laughs> uh, it's called "Let's Make It Right This Time." I didn't recognize. But the area code is somewhere that I used to live And the last thing that I need right now Is to find out I still owe somehow a debt to forgive Tried to delete mistakes I've made But no matter how I change the shape still follows me Ignored my friend's prescriptions and it still led me here. But if you're back to stay, if you're back to stay, let's make it right this time. with that one the verses have a little bit of a uh, little bit of a kind of uh, God didn't make little green apples kind of melody going on, on there or uh, yeah I don't know there's a number of sort of sort of late 60s uh, early 70s country uh, tunes that uh, that kind of uh, follow that basic melodic pattern so uh you know as we say in the business uh the songwriting business 
uh, amateurs borrow, professionals steal. So, <laughs> um, so uh, thank you so much for joining me here today. Uh, that makes uh, uh, of my Monday through Thursday uh, new song regimen that I'm on. That's number 10. Uh, so that's 10 songs in about uh, two and a half weeks here. So uh, I, I'm feeling pretty good about that. And uh, uh I hope to keep the streak alive tomorrow, and <laughs> I hope you all join me here for it. As always, uh, stay healthy, stay sane, stay safe, stay home if you can, and I love you all, and we'll see you back here tomorrow if I can get my mouse to work to turn this thing off. And I can't, so uh, something about the humidity today. Bye-bye, everybody.